and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so that you can save your time as well as improve your problem solving skills. Okay, so today's problem of the day is longest subarray with uh, sum divisible by k. Okay, I think the pro problem statement and the problem title is self explanatory. So we have to find the longest subarray such that the sum of that subarray is divisible by k and we have to return the length of that subarray. Okay, so here if you will see and equal to we will be given what we will be given we will be given array a okay it will be having some numbers and n number of uh, values indexes will be there and we will, we will be given k okay so what we have to do to look like we will be given 276145 so here i have to return the length of longest subarray whose sum is divisible by k so if you will see this is one subarray 2 comma 7 and this is one subarray 7614 okay and uh, 7614 only this 6 is one subarray whose sum is divisible by k 5 for this is some one summary whose sum is divisible by k okay but you have to return the largest which is 7614 so we will return it okay so what type of values will be present in a it's 10 raised to the power 9 minus 2 plus 10 raised to the power 9 which is very much okay so we cannot just simply store the sum and do brute force and uh, we can do brute force but we have to complete it in big of n time complexity okay so as usual i have written something notes for you so let's jump on to the notes section for it okay all right so this problem depends on one single line which i have written here if sum till x index gives me remainder 2 on dividing with k and sum till y index gives me remainder same remainder 2 gives me same remainder 2 okay then then the subarray sum from y to x index will give me remainder 0 and it will be my like one considerable subarray okay so what i am saying here let's check look if i will see this till this not 2 it, it can be anything it can be anything not specifically 2 it can be anything okay so if we will see the sum till this point index 0 it's giving me the remainder 2 okay now i have written the sum here 2 and then 7 number is there so 2 plus 7 9 9 plus 16 15 15 1 16 16 4 20 so and till this point the sum is 20 okay so if i will divide 20 sum by k equal to 3 so i will get 2 remainder so if you will see i have got 2 remainder here as well and i've got 2 remainder here as well so this sub array this much sub array will be divided by k will be divisible by k and with zero remainder okay so this is the thing this is the simple thing which approach which we are going to follow here so in the same way if you will see i have got one remainder here i have got one remainder here and i've got one remainder here as well okay so one remainder and so this much sub array will be divisible by k so if we do the sum four and five nine which is divisible by k so yeah it is divisible so our theory is working here and second thing is we don't even need to have the total sum we just can have the remainder and we will plus the next one number 7 to it and again calculate the remainder so we don't need to calculate all the sum because as i told the numbers will be in range 10 to the power minus 10 till minus 10 to plus 10 so it will become like out of the we can we have to use long as well so there is no need for that as well i think the problem approach approach will be clear and we have already done one problem with that so its link will be coming to you and it will be also visible in the description section so you can use that as well okay so what approach we are going to use we are going to use map to store the reminders if it's not present yet okay so if the map is not present if that reminder suppose i'm getting two reminder it is not present yet so i will be storing it okay and after that if at any other point i got two reminder so i will get the sum the total length of that sub array because the sum the reminder two which i will be getting at zero index let's say i will be storing it reminder two index zero now again if i if i got this reminder two at four index so my answer will be what you got it huh? you got it so the, my answer will be this much length of sub array. all right but if the reminder is zero so i will already have one reminder zero in my map with index minus one okay so if you will see this is my in the map okay so now again i got this reminder zero which is index one okay so again i will check if i have zero remainder yeah i have zero remainder at minus one index so now what will be my length of subarray one plus minus one two so i have got two lengths of array whose sum is whose sum is zero whose sum is divisible by k so here you will check two plus seven its sum is divisible by k all right great i think we are going great now again i got this zero, zero remainder here so i will check in map is there zero remainder yet yeah it's at zero, uh, minus one index so again i will calculate the new sub array length which will be two minus minus one three so three length sub array again i got okay so in this way we will be already placing the zero with index minus one and all other thing which will, will be going on as i already explained so i think the approach is clear and if the approach is clear please press the subscribe button and please press the like button okay and now i will be going through the code section for it okay all right okay so now we will be doing whatever i told so first of all let's declare one map in teacher in the i'm not used to this keyboard yet okay so new hash map okay and after that as i told i will be putting one zero reminder 
and it will be at minus one index. So if you will see, this will be denoting the first integer will be denoting the key will be denoting the remainder and the value will be its index. Okay. All right. So again, as I told, I will be having one sum. We have to calculate the sum. So sum will be zero and my answer yet will be minus one or zero only. Okay. All right. So let's go for int i equal to zero. i is less than n i plus plus. Okay. So what I will do sum plus equal to a i of a of i. Okay. So again, I will check. So yeah, as I already told, we don't have to have the sum. We can just have the remainder. So I will update my sum with sum modulus equal to k. So sum equal to sum modulus k. So we don't need to have all the sum here. We just will be getting that. Thick. Look here, six, seven, two, which is fifteen. Uh, so yeah, fifteen. So I will instead of fifteen, I will just have zero. Okay, because it's it's that simple. Okay. So if look, we can have negative number as well. So if sum is less than zero, I will do what? I will do sum plus equal to k. Okay. And uh, after that, as I told, I will be putting it into the map. Without put if absent sum comma index i, and again I will check if mp dot contains key sum. So if it contains, as I told, I will be updating my answer. So I will be doing math dot max of answer, and my new will be what i minus mp dot get of sum. Okay, so as I have already told into the notes section, so yeah, that is it, and at last I will return the answer. All right, let's try to compile this once. It's running. Let's try to submit it. Uh, if you are not able to understand this line, so if the remainder is minus three, so I will add plus k equal to k to it, so that it comes to the positive section. Okay, and yeah, it's getting accepted. And uh, yeah, that was it. I think if the explanation was the problem was a bit tricky, but the explanation was up to the point. I think so. So if you have loved the solution, please don't follow. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and please share your valuable feedbacks in the comment section. And I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. Okay, bye.